What's up, High Winds fans? It is a uh, evening time. Let's see, what is that? Almost a little past nine. About nine, you know, 40 almost. And uh, it's dark, you know, like me and the kids are struggling to see. There's a good a little bit of overcast as well. The sun is setting, porch lights on. Um, man, this, this phone does really good at night. I can't even see that and I got glasses on. But I wanted to show off this guy right here. This is the Nightcore EDC 27 on loan from Bob Bancho, AKA the old man. Um, let me check this out. This is 65, we'll do 15 lumens. Look at 15 lumens, lights that whole uh, in between the houses up. Now we're gonna step it up. Let's see, come on, focus up right here. And we're gonna step it up to, sorry, this is 60 lumens really lights it up this is 60 lumens this is level two right here guys level two like you can even see like boom my kids they light up really well i can see them very well step it up sorry that is uh level three four minutes of runtime for that sorry you guys can't see this that's totally my fault three minutes four minutes really and that's just boom i think this one next step is going to be that was 200 lumens, this is a thousand lumens. Check all that out, guys. Thousand lumens, completely illuminates. And you got the strobe. The half press is the turbo. Just crazy output with this thing. And the 15 is perfect for me. The 15 lumen runtime is absolutely perfect for me. Here's what we're doing outside. I got this show you my little rig setup right here you're looking at the ground but i also got this awesome nerf blaster and i got my best damn edc bum bag where i keep some awesome am ammunition uh hollow points um yeah it's really great stuff so yeah yeah this is what we're doing tonight i just want to show you guys a little bit of content of the edc 27 by nightcore sorry try to flip it over to me Can you guys see me i don't know um because i wasn't doing selfie mode so i guess it doesn't really matter but yeah the edc nightcore uh, has really turned me on to nightcore hey what's up bud um so yeah just uh i really like it the 15 lumen on the low mode is like really big brain i really like that uh it's what i use all the time uh, it's got plenty of illumination um for me and my purposes uh as a worker as a dad as an around the house person the flat profile is really nice let's see what maybe you'll see it the flat profile is really really nice i like it focus up i hope i don't know we'll see um i just wanted to say thanks man shout out to the old man for letting me check that out for letting me loan that i'll give that back to him this week um and yeah uh super thanks man i really appreciate it big dog uh you take care thank you guys for watching this video y'all have a good night bye Hey guys, Alexander here. Um, so I had to record that last bit at night and I just wanted to give you guys my final like thoughts that I had on the Nightcore by uh, EDC25, um, this light right here. It's a really good light. I really like it. I really appreciate it. Um, I am giving it back to the original owner, uh, who is Bob Bancho, uh, over on Instagram, uh, AKA the old man. He's got really good stuff uh, on his page. He's got really good channel uh, reviews and stuff like that. So we are, um, yeah, just kind of taking a look at this. So you guys saw the way I was able to display it at my house uh, in, in like the low light of the evening. Sorry, I'm a little thirsty and parched right now. Um, so I like it a lot. In fact, I think I like it a lot more than the Olight Arcfold because the price costs, as of right now recording this video, I just checked the EDC 27 on Amazon goes for $89, uh, which is well below the $100 threshold, um, which I think would be considered close to a um, medium budget knife, not a super budget knife, but um, still medium budget. Um, the EDC 25, which is a different model, it's an updated model without the LED screen goes for like $79 or something like that. So um, the market is being very competitive on these flat flashlights. There's also the Streamlight Wedge, which I've held 
at a gun show, but I've never carried. So that's, uh, there's a big difference there. That being said, this one is nice. I keep it, hold on. I keep it at 15 lumens. 15 lumens is more than enough that I need for every single day, illuminating the, the far corners of a dark room, um, picking something out of the closet really quick, whatever the case may be, illuminating the garage just a little bit, illuminating my footpath. 15 lumens does more than enough for me, and I think the low 15 is great. I do not ever, hardly ever, ever use the moonlight mode on my Raylite Pineapple Mini, and I don't think a moonlight mode on my uh, Warrior Mini 2 is that good either. Like I just, I understand some people like that's their thing. They like, they like the, uh, uh, the moonlight mode and it's just not for me, it doesn't do it. I need light and when I need light, I need light. So 15 lumens is a great starter. Then you jump up to the 65, which is another great uh, uh, lumen count. Then it jumps up to 200 and then from there, we go to a, a thousand lumens. The turbo mode being, uh, sorry, the turbo mode being three thousand lumens. And then we do have a strobe. I'm not going to flash it at the light in case there's some epileptic fans in the in the base, but the strobe is also at three thousand lumens, so that's pretty freaking cool. But yeah, guys, I like it. The thin profile is really nice. I will say, I don't know if I did this, I'll probably have to clean this up somehow. I left some snail trails. So the snail trails, I would say, would be um, easily avoidable if they did like uh, an aluminum, but that's not tactical or whatever. The color options are very limited. I think they only come in black. Um, a coyote tan would be pretty dope. Uh, you could probably even have it sent off and sprayed coyote tan but i don't know how well that would work with the 3000 lumens if that would overheat the um a cerakote or anything like that definitely would void your warranty so i don't know that's just something to think about i do like it a lot um and for the price it would be a really good edc flashlight i may consider going with the edc 25 i don't know if it's shorter um but this is a long long light i think the edc arc field comes out to like this on it um so there is that to consider um but other than that it's a really good light i like it for the night work that we used um last wednesday it was really cool i wish i would have got footage of that but we were too busy um with a concrete patch that i wasn't able to record any footage on that but that being said i really like it it would probably be my go-to edc flashlight honestly the stream light here, I'll, I'll, I think I do have that. Either that or I have a... Yeah, I have my Raylight Pineapple Mini in my caddy right now. I have this right here. So here's a Raylight Pineapple Mini compare it to. And that's about it, right? So there you go. But anyways, guys, it's a really good light. Uh, I recommend it. I, I can wholeheartedly recommend it. Now, your mileage may vary if you carry yours for a longer extended period of time, not just the week and a half that I had this one for. Um, is it a week and a half? Yeah, about a week and a half or so. So yeah, um, your mileage may vary. You may get a lemon. This one doesn't seem to be a lemon at all. This one seems to be exactly what it is meant to be, exactly what it is made out to be. So yeah, um, if there is anything that you guys could uh, say about it, if that, uh, testimonials or anything like that, please drop it below. Let me know what your favorite EDC flashlight is. Do you guys think that these flat style flashlights are the way to go for EDC? Um, you guys let me know. I really like this one and I can endorse it. And I can say that it's something that I am actually uh, interested in buying. So there's that. Guys, you have a good week. Um, let me know down below what you think about the uh, Nightcore uh, EDC 27. And uh, yeah, we'll holla at you at another time. Thanks, guys.